What's up, guys? Hurley Boy Tan bringing you a video of my Shaxis Wrestler. So, I'm just gonna tell you what I got and stuff like that for it. Um, and this is my first video of my RC car, so give me some, cut me some slack and tell me, give me some advice of making videos about RC cars and stuff. So, alright, so I got. And the Conda. See if we can see the and the Conda. So the and the Conda. The tracks is and the Condas. In the front. And then in the rear. But these are so bald right now. I have a hole right here. Yeah. So I need to get new of these new ones of these. Awesome. Okay, I'll start from the front. So I'll have the tires. Aluminum and in Integi. Aluminum. Uh, What's that called? Shock tower. But you, this part right here, it was aluminum too. But the one that came with this, but it snapped off when I went off this jump at at the track. So I just put the stock one on, and it works just fine. And then I have the RPM A arms, RPM bumper, replace the bulkhead, stock servo. If you can see that, it's waterproof, so it's okay. It's pretty good. It has pretty good torque. And I have the um, compression stock shocks. See, when you push them together, it gets more compact. And it has... I think you can see that. Um, oh, it's the RPM. Uh, bearing carriers in the front. Right. Somewhere right there. It's behind... It's behind this, it's the one right there. Have that in the front. I coiled my my wires pretty it looks neat now. Just have the regular Traxxas cable. I put this like um what's that called? Kitchen drawer it's for the kitchen drawers and stuff or like refrigerators to line it up, like the kitchen liner. Helps the lipo from getting like punctured and stuff even though I run hard cases but still it's pretty good <laughs> and I still have the VXL let's see if it'll yes VXL have a ESC fan it's, it's really good it keeps the temp slow and then I have the big bore shocks in the back with the compression springs I have two shock spacers Right here, I have the RPM shock tower, back shock tower. Say the RPM right there. If you can see that. Watch in HD too. So then I have the back RPM A arms. There. I think I think I have. I think these are RPM bearing carriers in the back too. That's the RPM bearing carriers right there. Right there. I broke a lot of these up. Well, I only broke like one in the front and one in the in the back. One in the front and one in the back at the track because, I don't know, I was hitting some huge ass jumps. It was fun. And the track that I go to is um, LRH Hobbies in Placentia, I think. That's what it's called. Yeah. That's a good track. I like that track. It's all clay, so I, just, I have my clay tires like in my living room somewhere over there. And then, well, right now, since I'm not at the track, I run the 31 tooth pinion. It's this one. And then the, let's see if you can see this. It's 48 pitch, 76. Can you see that or not? This is 40, 40, I mean 76 on it. 76 tooth spur. It goes pretty fast on a two cell. I want to get a three cell, but too much money. But I want to get them from Hobby Hobby Parts. Buy them from Hobby Parts. They're really good. It's like cheap for like a Gen's Ace. Get a Gen's Ace. So I have that stock motor. Put some shrink wrap because I don't know. I don't want it to get stripped. I mean not stripped. <laughs> um, what's that called? Short. I don't want it to get shorted. I have. Some stuff. 
stickers. A little bit of scratches. Pretty good. And then I put, I have like putty. Let me show you. Oh, it's orange, so I should be able to see. I have putty in the tire, so it's like balance when you spin it. So it doesn't have much speed wobbles and stuff like that. And that's it. And I have the RPM gear cover over there. I have the Lily bar. I just took it off because I just came from the track like two days ago. And I still have, I have school, so I can't really work on this right now. And yeah, that's probably it. I have the motor. I mean, not the motor, the radio. Good. Well, if you have this motor, I mean, I'm, why do I keep saying motor? I'm sorry. But if you have this radio... And like you dropped it one time and like this broke, the antenna broke, like off. What you can do, up like there's like a little like pin right there. See on this side it's like it's just plastic and the pin broke on this side. So I just put like a safety pin, cut it off and put it in there. And like pushed it in there really hard and it stays there so now it can't come off. So it's good. It's good now. And if you if you lose if you have like ten feet of range, cause that's what happened. Cause when I dropped it, there's like a little like antenna wire line that goes all the way down here, and then like it like plugs in somewhere. Not like plugs in, like snaps in somewhere. Mine snapped out. So if you're having some range issues, just open it up with these screws. Like one, two, three, four, four, and then like five. There's only five. These. These two are not screws. Those are just like holes. Yeah, just take those out and then try to snap it back in. If that's not the case, then maybe you have to get a new transmitter or receiver or both. So yeah. Regrease my transmission. Have the stock yokes and drivetrain. Yeah. That's it. Put some shrink wrap. I love shrink wrap. <laughs> well, if you get the integy and you still have this one, use this one because it's more flexible. Uh, the integy bends the post, and these ones will just. Um, what's that called? Like bend. But we'll go back, so. It's okay. That's good. Here's the body that I have. I fucked this body up over there. I need a new one. My wing, my wing came off. I mean, not came off, it was cracked. So I just took it off because I look stupid. And anyway. I can't fucking put this on. Okay. So body is clear. Put a hole right here for the ventilation. This, I messed that up. Badly over there. So yeah, that's how it looks. It's so mean. This thing could jump good. I'm going to too, so. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. Rate, comment, subscribe.